So, is that all of the kitchen cupboard? No, Digby, no it is not, because also here in the kitchen, there is a little bit of a secret. So if you crouch down low, and you come over here behind your stove, you will find an access panel that leads to the chimney alongside the house. Yeah, down here inside your chimney, you will find... Forming the duties of his office. Of Digby C. Caesar. Well, hey, everybody. Thanks for stopping by. I am Digby, and today we are back in the long drive for a combination of a special and a, well, basically an informational guide to the starter house. Now, I've actually been toying with the idea of doing, like, a full-on guide to the starter house for a while now, because there's a lot of, like, little secrets and tips and tricks and things that, well, I mean, new players will definitely miss, but even some long-term players might not know about. Like, for example, that you actually get a choice of two different vehicles to start your run with. There's food all over the place. There's everything you need, I believe, to completely clean whichever vehicle you choose to go with. And yeah, there's like a complete collection of all the... Well, I always call them keychains in the videos, but like the dangly objects. There's a blow-up doll companion. There's an animal companion. And the best bit is, apart from the randomness of, well, basically the two vehicles you get to pick from, everything else, well, actually, hold that thought, because I think the Animal Companion is also randomized. But yeah, other than that, everything I show you is going to be in the same spot every time. It'll always be there, and once you know where it all is, you can actually get off to an incredibly great start. So, I'm going to let the computer actually pick one at random. We'll just flip through these for a couple of seconds, and... Okay, that one. Let's go. Okay, here we are in the house, and it would appear that our secondary vehicle is going to be the motorcycle. Okay, perfect. Now, we've got... The random companion is always over here on the bed. In this case, we've got Jeff. Um, hello, Jeff. Okay, I can't quite reach Jeff without jumping up on the bed, but I'm not going to do that. Yeah, let's take a look at... Well, actually, we'll start you with the secondary vehicle, because the secondary vehicle is either going to be a motorcycle or a moped. And you will know immediately based on which motor you get here on the kitchen table. Now, the rest of the vehicle is located... Oh, I say the rest of it. The main body of the vehicle is always out behind your little building here. Or your starter house, I guess. But yeah, all the bits and bobs you need to make that motorcycle complete are going to be located here. For example, the gas tank is always going to be under the kitchen sink. One of the saddlebags is always going to be over here. The other saddlebag will be out here in the main garage on the floor. And if you get a moped, you actually will get a moped basket in that location instead. Rabbits, be quiet. The headlight is going to be... I think it's over here on the outhouse. Yeah, okay, so we've got the headlight we can put on the motorcycle. Like so. And, oh, you know what? Let's just do everything while we're right here. And then we'll put Saddlebag 2 on. Rabbit, shut up. I haven't gotten to the different weaponry you have available here. Okay, Saddlebag 2. Can't stand that up yet. And then, yeah, you're going to get, like, one rim here in the kitchen. Oh, actually, you know what? Oh, hi. Go away, please. Go away. Go away. Go away. Do not make me get the friggin' BB gun out. Can I just beat you with the door a little bit? Nope, he's gonna come in. Okay, how about you kill yourself on that door, then? Thank you. Yeah, you're gonna get a motorcycle rim here in the kitchen. There's another one... Oh, that one's down in the basement, actually. So, yeah, we will be looking at this stuff in depth in a minute, but let me just grab this motorcycle rim. Okay, motorcycle rim, motorcycle rim, and then under here should be motorcycle tire number one and motorcycle tire number two. Oh, you know what we forgot? Hold that thought. I goofed up. There's a part missing. Yeah, the Speedo is actually going to be in the garage on the shelves. It should be right over here. Okay, let me just pop you down, open the door, and there's the Speedo. You know what else you forgot, Digby? You forgot the two mirrors. Now, I'm trying to remember where those are. One of them's upstairs over the top of the garage, and the other one, I believe, is in here, maybe? Uh, where are you? Oh, no, it's downstairs in the basement. Hold that thought. I'm thinking of something else entirely. Uh, mirror, where'd you go? Oh, there you are, right there. Yes, it's always going to be over here in the corner. Okay, attach you. 
Mirror number two. Oops. And there is a door you can use to get into the upstairs right here. Mirror number two is over here in this corner. So, there we go. We now have a complete 100% ready-to-go motorcycle. The only thing it isn't is properly repaired. However, I'm not going to be taking the motorcycle, so I don't care. Now, next thing we can look at, now that we got the motorcycle out of the way, is the dangly things. So, dangly thing number one is your poop keychain, which is going to be under here. Okay, Digby, stop calling them keychains. They're dangly things. And you actually have a real poop that always spawns under your bed, too, for, you know, reasons. And like I said, propane tank's always here. Feather dust is always here. The clock. There's always bread right here. In fact, let's start collecting the food here. And yeah, there's going to be like three or four packs of cigarettes you can get. Oh, dangly thing number two, before I get distracted, is right here in the corner behind the stove. Now, this is the lipstick keychain or lipstick dangly thing. And as far as I know, the only place it ever spawns is right there in that corner. Now, there is a Fred dangly thing out here hanging under the steps. So let's grab Fred. We'll put Fred in. Whoops, yeah, don't get stuck on the door, Digby. We'll put Fred in here. So, Fred, you go there. And then the pine tree is out here hanging on this shelf. And the pine tree can go there. The octopus is always over here on the floor under the back shelf. So, octopus, you can come out and join the collection. And then the last one... I say last one. I'm pretty sure you can't get the bat keychain here anymore because they changed that to make it like a thing that flies around the haunted houses. So it's not technically a keychain, it's an animal that becomes a keychain once it dies. Anyway, the other keychain is up here in the attic. And you have to go all the way across. You can actually see it hanging there in the window. Digby, don't do that. That's very, very dumb. So, keychain, right there. Now, I'm just going to take the shortcut down. And, actually, let's get a little bit lower. And... Boom, there we go. Complete collection of dangly things, sans the bat. Oh, actually, while we're at it, why don't we do... Oh, you know what? Let's just actually now move to a full in-depth guide on each room individually, because I think that'll probably be a little bit easier. So you're always going to get a bucket of water over here in the corner, which is good, because you always start off hungry and thirsty. Okay, there we go. And, as previously mentioned, the kitchen will always contain a sponge... It will always contain a chorizo, a loaf of bread, the roll that was over there on the stove. You're going to get a car stereo, a bottle of alcohol, and... Oh, you know what? Let's just eat the bread. Yeah, you're going to get a music box, which is basically junk. And I don't think we need the car radio. You get a TV and a computer, which, as I've mentioned in previous episodes, we can turn on, we can use... And yeah, you can actually use it to do basic programming. Uh, print, I can't remember if I have to do quotes, print high. Oh, no, well, apparently I'm printing he. <laughs> and then we'll do run. And there you go. Okay, so yeah, you've got a computer and a TV you can play with. Oh, actually, I need to, how do you disconnect? I can't remember. That's not how you disconnect. There we go. Okay, yes, the mount, uh, left mouse button again. So yeah, you get the computer and the thing to play with. You also get this feather duster. Now, a thing you might not know about the Feather Duster is you can actually use it to get rid of cobwebs. Come on, everybody, let's clean up the house. Let's go! Like that. And yeah, I don't think getting rid of cobwebs is of any, like, practical use. However, it is a cool thing you can do, and a thing you might not have known you can do. So, is that all of the kitchen covered? No, Digby, no it is not, because also here in the kitchen, there is a little bit of a secret. So if you crouch down low... And you come over here behind your stove, you will find an access panel that leads to the chimney alongside the house. Yeah, down here inside your chimney, you will find a fully loaded revolver. Okay, now the second weapon you can get is the one everybody knows about in the garage, on the counter. It's the BB gun. And it's useless. Now there's also BBs here in the garage. And in fact, there's, I think, two or three different sets of BBs here and about. But yeah, you also get another crappy pack of cigarettes, which is, what, two. In fact, there's a third pack if you look over here on the windowsill. Now, I do know some people actually use the smoking mechanic. I don't think I ever have. Oh, you know what? Let's try it. Okay, how about we... 
How do I get rid of the stupid cigarette? One hour later. Oh, thank you, Google. Okay, yes. Drop the stupid thing. Put it over here. I don't want it. In fact, can we stub it out? No, I cannot. Yes, I don't want to put it on. I want to drop it. I will just leave it smoldering over there. Uh, okay, now, also out in the garage, you will find a can with two gallons of gas in it, which is nice. The other can will have water in it, I believe, which is also nice. And we will have... There's a can over here with some oil in, and it's sitting on top of a barrel with even more oil in it. So once you get your car fixed up, you can actually refill all of that. Sorry about that. Motorcycle just drove by. Um, you will also get the fly swatter, which I have beaten a rabbit to death with previously, but it takes bloody forever. So as far as I know, apart from whacking a few random things around, like so, this thing is pretty much bloody useless. So we will add you to the useless pile. Now, also we're going to get one hubcap, which we'll put over by the car. We're going to get one rim, one tire. Oh, hello, I did not mean to put that on. And then on the shelf, we've got the two keychains we've already grabbed. There'll be a bottle of alcohol. I think all the bottles are alcohol, actually. Yep, that one's alcohol. One can of random paint. You're going to get one piece of rebar, a flashlight, a random magazine. And I've always kind of wondered if maybe... Is that the same girl, I wonder? It looks like her in the face. I don't know if this is somebody the devs are just like hot on or if it's somebody's actual girlfriend but yeah i think that's her in all of the pictures in fact, it's probably her in all the magazines as well okay so where were we yes rebar you're going to get a thing of spritz which we're going to put over here we're going to get a thing well a thing of we're going to get a brush which is handy and then down below you will have two dumbbells and a gold bar which are absolute garbage Okay, I did some organizing while I was waiting for the sun to get a little bit higher, so let's put the cleaning supplies out here. Magazine, I'll just stick you off to the side. And the only other thing I think I forgot to mention in here is the binoculars. Because, yeah, you are definitely going to want to start the game with binoculars. So we're just going to put those right into slot one and be done with it. Now, let's go upstairs and take a look around up there. Okay, there's all kinds of good stuff you can miss up here. So you've got the first trophy, which I don't actually know what this one is representing. It's to somebody called Stark Panzer. And I'm assuming it's an award for achieving something, because this one here is the... Well, I always call it the Grail in my run. But yeah, this is the Celebratory Cup for Hoer Fuchs. Or whatever. Anyway, he was the first guy to actually complete the map from start to finish. You will also, up here, find a bottle of spritz over here in the corner, which we can send down that way. And there should be a bucket with, I think, a liter of water. Yeah, there's another liter of water up here. And even more importantly, over on the side, though, is you will find the knot of snake. So I'm going to put the knot of snake in slot two. We're going to grab this sponge over here in the corner as well and send that down, hello, to the cleaning supply department. And we already got the keychain out of the window. The only other real thing up here is the katana, which, unless you're a, you know, dingbat goofus like me, it will be leaning up against the wall right there. So, Katana, you're going to be my... No, I want to go to the number four slot, and I want to put that in slot three. Yeah, I think I'll just bring the gun with me and use the Katana as my main go-to weapon. But if you want to bring the trophies with you, just as a little fun thing to do... Oh, do not forget as well, also, up above the rafters is a big old slab of bacon... And another chorizo. I cannot believe I almost forgot those. <laughs> in my guide to all the crap in the starter house, that would have been a really bad oversight. Alright, so down here in the basement, you're going to get a barrel of alcohol, a piece of rebar, a female companion, should you choose to... Oh, you know what? I forgot. This is also where the cockroach dangly thing is. So, as I was saying, down here, female companion, thing of alcohol... Another piece of rebar, if you need rebar. Um, there's also a thing of diesel in here and another can of random paint. So there's the diesel. There's the random paint. Okay, we got a couple of really gruesome shades of green in this start. Now, if you decide you want to use the BB gun, in addition to the 200 BBs you get in here, there's another two packs of 200 outside as well. So let's go do the outside. Yeah, all of these crates are empty, and I think all of the bottles are as well. Apart from that crate over there, 
which if you break this one open, you should get, there it is right there. Yeah, I was gonna say, you should get the second package of BBs. And the third one, well, BBs are pellets. I guess that depends on where you grew up. We always called them BBs when I was a kid. And then yeah, the third one is over here on the well. Now, down inside the well is the magical flying Harry Potter broom, should you decide you want that also. So yeah, we'll come back to that in one second. Let me just put these away. Okay, getting the broom out of the well is not that difficult, but it's not that easy either. The basic trick I found that works the best is to just grab it, pick it up above your head a little bit, and walk into it until you can sit, and then just try and point upwards as best you can. And eventually you will end up out. So, quickly, off the broom. Okay, now, I don't know if you want to count this as a third vehicular option, but it is definitely a thing that is available for you should you want it. And just so you can see what I was talking about, yeah, see, all these crates are empty, these three over here are empty, pretty sure the bottles are empty as well. So yeah, nothing in any of that. And I think the only thing we've got left to look at is there's going to be a truck tire there, always. And there should be a barrel of water here, and another big barrel of water right there. And since they added trucks to the game, you can get trucks to actually spawn in here at the beginning. So it is a legitimate tactic, if you get a truck, to, like, bring the bottles of water with you. Oh, and the most important thing we can't forget... Out here in the mailbox, you will find a letter from your mother inviting you. Please come visit me. Love, Mom. Now, there are actually a couple of cool things about this letter you might not have realized. So let me get inside where we can look at it properly. Okay, so as I was about to say, if you look at this thing, you will see there is a map drawn on it of how to get to Mom's house. And it is essentially a straight line with 1,000 kilometers, 2,000 kilometers. I hear you still out there. Why are you bugging me? I'm trying to show off the mom letter. Uh, okay, anyway, map, showing distance, 3,000 kilometers, yada yada. Now, another thing about this that's kind of interesting is, over on the side here, all that writing and stuff, it's basically some kind of government guide to motorcycles and vehicles, and yeah, it's all written in Hungarian. Now, there is one other thing that's kind of cool about this letter. Yeah, way down here at the bottom, it's actually got a YouTube channel, and it says Gaming... I can't actually read that, because I don't speak Hungarian. I'm assuming it's some Hungarian player, or it's one of the devs or something. But yeah, you get a map, you get some, like, government regulations on motorcycles and stuff, and you also get the letter from your mom. Aww. So, I've done a little bit of organizing. Let's have a quick recap of all the things you're going to be able to get at the house. Now, you're going to have a choice of a couple of pallets, which, as we know, do now have physics lock. You're going to get your optional secondary vehicle, which will always be either the motorcycle or the moped, and everything you need to put it together and get it running. But we'll actually get to that in a minute when we do the car. And then, yeah, you're going to get this big old tire. You're going to get... Oh, don't forget there's uh, a whole bunch of water in the sink you can go for, too. Yeah, you're going to get a lot of water, and I've actually been drinking out of that one. So yeah, we got 63 liters of water, you got some fun stuff, should you choose to want it, like the broom, propane tank if you want to blow anything up, and yeah, stuff like the flashlight, you've got your letter from mom, you've got the two statues. Now for weapons, you're going to have the katana, the pistol, fully loaded, and the BB gun with 200, 400, 600 pellets in it. We're going to get a pair of binoculars. We're going to get a siphon. We're going to have a choice of companions. We can bring both of them with us, actually, if we want. But yeah, we can have the inflatable lady. We can have Jeff. There's going to be a whole bunch of junk and cigarettes and crap you don't need. And I mean, if you do want the alarm clock, I'm pretty sure you can attach it to your dashboard. But I mean, it's an option. And then, yeah, you've got a computer you can play with. You've got a ton of food, car radio full collection of dangly objects, and then, of course, we have everything you need to fix up your random vehicle and get it in ship shape.
Okay, we got 40 liters of water we can bring with us. Yeah, we'll pop that in there. We got 40 liters of water. And three liters of oil. And we did have the option of actually repainting this car, but quite frankly, I don't think I've ever seen one spawn in gasoline green, so yeah, I'm gonna keep that. Okay, then we can load up all our food, and I know we don't have a lot of food left at the moment. Whoops, actually, I need that uh, hood back open there, Digby. Yeah, we don't have a lot of food left at the moment, but that's only because I've been here in the house for like, God, three or four days now, I think I've been staying here. So yeah, you're gonna get at least five or six days worth of food you can bring with you to start with. And then, of course, we're gonna need our dangly things. And then we're going to need our traveling companions. So yes, you can come with me. I will let you sit in the back. I will call you Miss Daisy, and then we can drive Miss Daisy. And of course, we've got to have Jeff here in the front. So yeah, Jeff, you come along with me, my fateful little traveling companion. I'm going to put you right in the front. Yeah, stay there. And then we can arm ourselves up with a spare pistol. Probably a smart thing to bring. And... You know what? I'm not even going to bother with the BB gun. But yeah, we'll grab the two trophies just because it's always kind of fun to see if you can get a trophy from one end of the map to the other. And I mean, I haven't done it yet, but so far, my main run, we are still carrying around the original Grail that we got in the starter house. So yeah, we'll throw in a couple of trophies for fun. We'll definitely bring our mom letter. Uh, you know what? Flashlight in case we get stuck out in the dark somewhere. No, I didn't want to sit on the bed. I wanted to... Yes, get up. I wanted to actually turn that off and then put it in here. Okay, so drop ya. There we go. Okay, is there anything else we want, need, or desire? You know what? Yes, there is. The Harry Potter broom. God forbid I try and go anywhere and not have a broom with me. So, we're gonna pop that open. Yeah, watch your head, Jeff. I'm coming through and this might be a little bit awkward. I'm gonna drop that in there. Shut the door. Shut the hood. Okay, here we go. We have got a 100% mint condition car with four absolutely perfect tires. We've got two and a half liters of gas in it. It's got full oil, full coolant, and we've got a few days worth of food. We got a metric ton of water. We got spare oil. We got a flashlight. We got some fun stuff. We got our companions. We've got our dangly bits. Oh, you know what? We might even actually bring the rebar too in case we decide we need to use that for something later. And, because we've got them left over, why don't we also grab the eight things of spritz. Yeah, we got eight spritz left. We got a brush left. Oh my god, we have got so much stuff and we haven't even backed out of the damn garage yet. And then, yeah, we'll bring along the Deb's girlfriend or whoever the hell that is, because who knows, it might get lonely on the road. <sighs> and just for fun, I mounted the clock on the dash. But yeah, that is like everything I know about the starter house and all the different items you can get in it and all of its various secrets. And yeah, if you're an inexperienced player, hopefully this guide helped you a lot. And if you're a long-term player, hopefully you learned something you didn't know. And on that note, as always, I have been Digby. I thank you guys for stopping by. I really hope you guys enjoyed this kind of in-depth look at the starter house thing in the long drive. And yeah, we will resume our normal run next week, and I hope to see you there. Oh, yeah.